In business news this evening, farmers in the Upper East region are finding hope in pearl millet as changing weather patterns disrupt traditional farming. This resilient crop is making a comeback thanks to the efforts of the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute. There's more in this report. In a world increasingly affected by climate change, the story of pearl millet underscores the importance of community-driven innovation and sustainable agriculture. This initiative empowers farmers, enabling them to take ownership of their agricultural practices and make informed decisions about their crops. Pearl millet is a climate-resilient crop that thrives under challenging conditions with a short harvest duration of between 50 and 60 days. This makes pearl millet an attractive option for farmers grappling with the rising cost of maize production. With both open pollinated and hybrid varieties available, pearl millet offers a viable solution to food insecurity and economic instability. Over 2,000 distinct types of pearl millet were on display, each with unique attributes as the Savannah Agricultural Research Institute organized its first participatory variety selection. In Ghana currently, there's no hybrid millet production anywhere. So we're making efforts as part of the regional trial that we're doing. We're making efforts to see how we can also extend that hybrid work in Ghana. Other countries are really doing it and it's doing very well. According to a millet breeder, Dr. Drabo Inusa, the research on hybrids aims to help West African farmers produce high-quality crops that meet their needs. It's not all the variety we create that are good varieties. Decision is very important and it will give us direction to drop what they say is not good and to advance with what they say it's good. A local farmer, John Azasiba, shares his experience with millet cultivation and its cost effectiveness, especially investment in fertilizer. I would even prefer this one over maize. Why? Because this one, they have applied fertilizer only once. And the land is sandy, which means that the land is poor in terms of fertility. And applying fertilizer once and getting this yield, if you produce maize here, I tell you, you have to apply fertilizer twice or three times before you can get any, anything from this, this same land.